Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the quick five minute check-in for Thursday. So we're going to use a Divine Structure deck for the question straight out there. So the message is what's working for the connection and how do others see your connection well? So what I'm really feeling here is what's working for the connection is to no longer care what people think about the connection. And I feel this is both both ways. So the feminine is definitely rising above the negativity and the naysayers and any drama and learning how to not pay attention to the things that go on in the physical world and focus on what you trust and know within your feelings and intuition, which is your connection with the spiritual world. So you're no longer taking things personally on this journey. Sometimes you may have a fleeting moment of it where we go into a little bit of ego and the ego edges all the goodness out. It brings up doubt, fear, illusion, and we do question things. But then we receive a sign or a synchronicity or something happens that gives us that faith boost, you know, that boy of faith from heaven that we are real and this is real and it is real. So we learn to trust again. So you like, I don't care what people think. You know, there is people out there that think the twin flame journey isn't real and that union isn't real and all these things. But usually that's either from a misunderstanding that's occurred in their own life or it's because they don't understand the journey or they may be scorned or there may be pain there. So it's about seeing through the illusion and remembering what people think of you and your journey or the twin flame journey itself is to do with their own perception of it and their own experiences of it or what they are going through so that makes it easy to understand from a higher point of view and for the masculines you know they've been controlled a lot by people in their lives they've been controlled by family friends karmic people you know thinking things have to be a certain way you know they give me the words you made your bed so you have to lie in it and that's what their family or friends may have said to them if they're in a marriage that doesn't serve that, oh, you've made your bed, you've got to lie in it. And they may have tried to get on with things, but they know they can't. They know they just can't be there anymore. It's toxic to that. So they're starting to not listen any longer to other people's opinions and to listen to their opinion, what they feel. So that's what's working for the connection because they are getting to the point where they think, I don't care what other people think or how other people see what I'm doing. I'm going to stop thinking about me. So that's what they're going to be focused on. So I'm going to bring in the Radiant Rider right Waite Tarot. So what's working for the connection right now? Wow. Okay, well, they just fell out. So clearly for a reason, I'm going to take them. And how do others see the connection? So really, other people see the connection as the Ten of Cups. So this is all they want for you. What I'm feeling is, you know, people that may say or you know, want what's best for you. That's all they do. So if your family say, oh, he isn't good for you, there's plenty of other people out there, all they really want is for you to be happy. You know, that's really all they want, for you to be settled down, happy, loving life with someone. And they want that for you, whoever that's with. So remember, you know, when they see you and your twin happy, they're going to be happy for you because they're going to realise that, wow, it does work after all. It's only their perception of what you may be going through, and that could be very sad, it could be misery from their point of view, that affects that. So really, they want you to be happy. But how other people see the connection is that this can be a happy union, because you are happy when you are talking about your union. And they also see how strong you are, that this connection makes you stronger. So their higher self knows that. You know, the other people know that the twin flame journey is a journey of inner union as well as outer union. So what's working for the connection right now? Look how many cards fell out here. The Hierophant. So the Hierophant is about being guided. It's about, you know, being guided from above, maybe receiving a reading that helps you, spiritual support. So when I'm connecting with this, what's working for the connection is spiritual support. And also remembering that you are one you know, that you are already in a sacred union. And sometimes relationships or marriages also are here too. They help the connection because they're catalysts to union. So the masculines will learn 
valuable lessons through a marriage or a situation and you learn valuable lessons through it too because you learn to stand your ground and know your truth and the masculine learns to open his heart so other people see you sometimes as a little bit vulnerable over this connection you know other people see that you may be a bit heartbroken over this connection but also that you're becoming this true authentic version of yourself and that person is very strong and powerful and that works for you. What works for you is you opening your heart. And the masculine is opening his heart. And that's what separation and pain does. You know, during the separation, the miserable times, the times when you're not together, he makes you stronger. And that's when the masculine realizing how, realizes how loyal they are to you. And that's when you realize the, the loyalty of the connection. That you are loyal to each other no matter what. And what works for the connection is bringing in that balance of giving and receiving. And knowing that until the masculine is ready to do that, the connection isn't serving either of you. So it's about trusting that the spiritual connection is always serving you, but the 3D connection sometimes doesn't. Because if the masculines are in this energy of defensiveness and not taking that cup from you and not listening then they have to wake up themselves. And that's why they go within to process everything. Yet there will be an eventual positive outcome when we release the ego. So the ego actually serves the connection because it's how we get stronger. And what serves the connection, what's working for the connection is knowing it's spiritual growth and that good news is on the way. So I love how we've got the pages coming up here because it's about the dynamic of masculine and feminine. And all the things that we go through along the way to find and receive union. So who cares what people think? This is a journey of power. And we learn and grow as much in the separation as we do together. Because the separation creates the need for balance and the need for more. And that's when both twins come back together, fully healed and restored, ready for the next step. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.